Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is going to be my haul video for Elps Cosmetics. And I know um, I got a lot of heat doing the $20 tag because people felt like I bashed on e.l.f. products in general. And I honestly do like e.l.f. products, but just a select few of amounts of products. But I guess over um, the course of maybe like a year or a little bit more than that, it's changed its formula, added a lot of new things to their studio line, which um, there's a difference between the regular e.l.f. line, which is um, I think traditionally white and then Studio Line is all black and Studio Line is um, a few dollars more than the products um, from the regular line which is typically like a dollar a piece and I personally recommend the sets now any of the sets I feel in my own personal opinion the quality is a lot different from um, the single packages so especially in eyeshadow form because I think the holiday sets um, the pans of eyeshadow, the texture, the quality is way different from the ones that are in the little trio, um, triangle kind of things. Um, those ones are really dusty and chalky and the ones um, that are in the pans are really pigmented and really soft and um, I really really like those opposed to the, the ones in the regular line. So that's what I meant as far as like the quality of e.l.f. It just really depends on the product that you pick up. Because I really enjoy the retractable um, eyeliner that has one, it's like a thicker one and then the other one is a thin line and it's three bucks, it's in the studio line. Um, and that one I use the, the thinnest part all the time and to mark in my waterline or to wing out my eyeliner like what what have you like I love that one and I purchased that one a few times and it has been in my favorites videos as well I have tried their HD foundation and I could not get the right shade for myself so you could mix it and the HD foundation for elf is six bucks and I'd rather prefer to spend that money on a six dollar um, fit me from Maybelline that's my favorite foundation drugstore foundation so, um, after watching um, from start to finish, I think that's her screen name. I'll be putting her information in the description box down below because she is the one that um, um, convinced me through her haul to, to purchase some stuff from, from e.l.f. and to give it a try. And I'm also going to be testing them out and swatching them in this video so you guys can see um, it with me, experience it with me. Now, what I've seen a lot from um, YouTube are these HD blushes, and I'm going to be giving away three of them because I don't know why, or no, I don't know how, I either purchased four on accident because I got so excited and there was like a glitch on the website, or they gave me three extra ones on accident. But either way, I'm going to be giving those away. Um, so I saw it on It's Judy Time. She had these as well, and I wanted to swatch them and see what the hype was all about. So I did get them in three different shades. And this first one is Headliner, and this is the one that I'm going to be giving out three of them. So all I have to do is leave a comment down below, it's not a big deal. So this Headliner blush, a lot of um, companies are coming out with similar packaging, and I know um, Smashbox has them and so does Makeup Forever. So, and that's why I picked these up, because these were a lot cheaper. These were, I believe, $3 a piece, if not no more than $6 a piece. It just really um, variates because of the studio line. It's not a dollar. It starts at three and it could be five or nine, up to nine dollars a piece. Um, so let me get closer so you guys can see the swatches. So this is what headliner looks like really up, like really close. And it's a soft baby pink. So hopefully it's not this light because I am kind of tan. So it might not show up on my skin tone. So a couple of pumps, and it's actually a lot more vibrant on my hand than it is in the tube. So let me just... It almost feels like whipped cream. It's a really cool texture, and that's what it looks like on. Okay, the next one is Superstar, and next to Headliner, you can tell that it is a lot darker. So I'm going to do a pump right next to Headline. And all you really need is just one pump because it is so pigmented. I'm super surprised by the texture. Now the real test is going to be putting this on my face and I'll show you guys that in just a second. 
And the last color that I got is really, really vibrant. And they had, I think, a darker color as well, but most of the products were sold out. And this one is in the color Encore. So I'm going to put that right next to Superstar. This is actually a really, really pretty color. Really, really pretty. Whoa, that's pretty intense. So you need to make sure that you have the right tool to apply this to your face or you're going to look like a clown. So be careful with that. I also picked up these e.l.f. makeup remover cleansing cloths and I was told per a few reviews on these particular wipes that they were kind of like um, the MAC wipes and unfortunately as you guys can see this one was kind of like, I don't know, the packaging was off. This thing was glued on off center to the actual packaging opening. Can you see that? So that's like the unfortunate part about this, but it's, I mean, it won't stop me from using it. So I'm just going to clean my finger here. I'm going to use whatever is on the back of my hand to put on my face so I don't waste any product. And I'm going to be using this dual fiber brush. This is for powder or blush. This is the F15 from Sigma Makeup. And I'm going to take the lightest color because I don't want it to be too crazy on my face. So picking up some of that color and applying it to the apples of my cheeks. Okay, next would have to be the powders and I got a couple of these, um, I got two of these, did I get two of these? No. So these were also sold out on the site too. So I know there's one lighter and then there's one darker. So I got the one in the middle and this is the contouring blush and bronzing powder. And this is in the color Turks and Caicos. So this is the highlighting powder. It's actually really light compared to, you know, my, it's probably like the same as my skin tone here. Is it? Oh no, that's really bright, okay. <laughs> Whoa, I just put so much product on my face right here. Okay, so. Okay, so this powder looks this powder looks like it's really shimmery, but it's actually really pigmented and it's a lot pinker than it shows. It looks like it's just a highlighting powder, right? But it's it's not. It's like almost coming out pink. And I know it still looks like, I don't know, you guys can't really see true in this lighting, but it's really pink. It's like a baby pink. So I would definitely be using this as a blush, like it says, and then this as the contour powder which is actually really, really dark. So I'd probably recommend for those of you who are the same skin tone as me to get the one that's lighter than um, Turks and Caicos or whatever it's called. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Turks and, and Caicos. Get the one that's lighter because this one's way too dark. Look at that. The contouring powder is way too dark for me. And I picked up two blushes and one's pink and then one's really pink and I got it in Twinkle Pink and Mellow Mauve. Anything mauve is going to be okay with me because I love mauve lips and mauve blushes. So this is the Mellow Mauve. If I can get it open. I actually really love the packaging because it reminds me of NARS. There we go. Let me do a quick swatch for you. And it's kind of like a shimmery pink. It's not too, too crazy pink. It's actually really nice. It's a lot lighter than I was expecting, especially from the packaging. It um, was insinuating that it was darker than the, the one that I'm going to swatch next. It looked like a hot pink magenta um, stripe. So that's what I was expecting, something really bright. But I actually like this color. It's really pretty. Okay, 
Okay, this next one is Twinkle Pink. And let's see. This one looks darker than the first one. And it's got a lot of glitter in it. It reminds me of Orgasm from um, NARS. There we go. Oh yeah, definitely. This is definitely a dupe for either soup, no, not soup, maybe just Orgasm. It looks just like it. It's a really, really pretty color. I know it looks kind of dusty on my finger, but it's actually super, super nice. It's a, it's a really nice, subtle, like, illuminating blush. Almost like a highlighter but with more color than highlighters should have. So I really, really like that. Okay, next is their their um, Complete Coverage Concealer Palette. And I got it in AE1. Um, according to the package, it's medium. So this is what it looks like. I took off the makeup on this side of my face so I can show you guys a quick demo of how it conceals. It also comes with a brush, a little brush, but I won't be needing that, so I'm just gonna throw it out. But it's got really, really yellow to a kind of a dark, deep color on the end. And the yellow is good for correcting, but usually I pick something in the middle, but it's really, really yellow, so we'll see how it works out. It feels really waxy on my face and I'm kind of like really into, I don't know, the texture and how it feels on my skin. Like really waxy, really oily. But for the most part, I mean it covers really well and the palette I know was not too expensive compared to other concealer palettes so it, I mean it's doing its job, that's for sure see here actually it's a lot better than I was expecting <laughs> I'm so impressed you guys okay next is this baked um, eyeshadow palette and I think it's just one is it just one? Oh, this one's in California it's called California and get this guy out. So like I said, I really am never disappointed in palette sets because the qu the quality and the pigmentation is so much better than the ones in those little triangle trios or quads. So let me swatch a few of these for you. Very pigmented. I never have any problems with these, so I knew I was going to like these from the get-go. Look at that one. That's insane. So I definitely recommend this one, definitely. This is awesome, I can't wait to do um, a makeup look using this particular palette. Maybe I'll even do the look over again and the $20 tag over again because I'm really impressed with these. Unfortunately, stores don't sell these kind of products. They just sell the basics. They sell all of the white collection and a few of the studio products. And I did see baked um, blushes and bronzers on the website, but they don't sell those in stores either, and they're sold out currently on the website, so I'll be continuing to check them every so often to see if they will put them back in stock. I'm really pleased with this palette, and they, I mean, the, the e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes never let me down, so these are a must. And then I also picked up one lip product. This is the last product in my haul, and I also recommend... Um, in these matte lip colors. Uh, I think it's called Tea Rose. Tea Rose is really, really pretty and that's one that I've been wearing a lot. Thanks to my best friend Crystal because she's the one that told me all about it. And this one is a like a dark red matte lip pencil and this one is in rich red. And I'm actually going to put this one on right now. And you wipe off. Anything that I have on my lips already And then the fact that it's a pencil in pencil form, it's, you know, it's going to take a lot shorter time for you to apply it to your lips because it's kind of like a huge lip liner. Love it! 
I took off the makeup on the other side. Let me put a little bit more of that that blush on this side. And as you guys can see, it's actually super pigmented. But it's really pretty, and this is the one that I'm going to be giving out. This one is in headliner. So all I needed was a little bit, and I still have a lot more product on my hand. And it's really creamy, and I almost feel like if I were to pack one product for color's sake, it would definitely be um, one of these HD blushes because you can also use it on your lips and maybe even for an eyeshadow. But I don't really typically um, use pinks and reds on my eyes because it makes my eyes look red too so everything looks really really tired but I really love this I love it I'm so happy with it you guys I feel like I've, I've made um, a turnaround as far as elf products go and I hate that this side is dark and this side is bright but at least you guys get the sense of the color and the pigmentation is really really good this lipstick is insane I mean, I'm a huge fan of CoverGirl and Maybelline lip products as far as drugstore makeup goes, but nothing applies like this one does. And it does transfer on my lips, but I'm still really happy as far as the um, application goes because it was really easy to follow the lip, my the line of my lips because it's in pencil form. Um, and I love it. I just, I don't know. And my teeth are not the whitest. I mean, I have to bleach my teeth because they are yellow because I am a tea and coffee drinker. Um, but they make my lips look whiter. And it's because of the blue undertones. It's still really, really bright. But it is a cooler red. And it's not so orange where it makes your lips look um, yellow. Okay, so now for my recommendations. Things that I would definitely repurchase. Repurchase. I don't know why I said that slow. Repurchase. And then also, um you know, if I had to pick one, because I did pick a couple of different products. So I would definitely repurchase these wipes because I did experience taking them off with the, I used two wipes in this video to take the makeup off my face and then also take the makeup off my hand and it didn't irritate my face and the wipe was not um, coarse at all so it felt good on my face and my skin is, um, for the most part, it's like combination skin but there is some sensitivity here in my cheeks and I didn't have any problem wiping it off so as far as that goes that's my review on that um, and these guys I would definitely definitely pick up headliner um, I just think it's a really natural color it's not too gaudy and I think these ones um, unless you know how to really apply cream blushes I wouldn't even touch these because these are easily easily mis um, applicated um, people overdo it and accidentally put too much makeup on and the unfortunate thing about this is you put your blush on last before you do the setting but you put your foundation on your concealer on and then you put the blush on top so if you put too much then you have to restart everything all over again so definitely pick up headliner and like I said it's gonna be a comment giveaway so just leave in the comments um, your favorite product um, from elf it doesn't even have to be in this particular haul but just in elf in general so headliner will be given to three comment commenters in a week. Um, also, definitely pick up this one. I think I love this one way more than I love um, the tea rose. But tea rose is more on the natural side, and this is really really bright. But I love this. I think I'm gonna wear this the rest of the day, um, and make sure I keep it in my purse because I'm, I'm I'm not kidding. I really really love it, and I'm so glad that I watched that um, one haul that made me. Um, really question whether or not I should give uh, Elf another try and I'm really glad that I did. Um, and then also the baked eyeshadow palette, I really loved um, the pigmentation on these and like I said, I'm never, never let down with Elf palettes. Um, not so much the little quads or the trios, but the palettes are amazing. And as far as the two blushes go, one was um, Twinkle Pink and then the other one was Mellow Mauve. I would definitely get Twinkle Pink. It was a really pretty highlighting color. Um, not so much a blush because it wasn't too, too bright that I would consider it a blush, but I would definitely put it higher on my cheekbones and blend it into my blush. And the contouring um, and blush powder, I wouldn't get this or wouldn't recommend this for people who are my color or my color, my shade, um, and brighter and lighter. 
if you're deeper than I am, your tan is deeper than, than I am, then I would definitely recommend this because the contouring would look fine on your face. But this, if I put this on my face, I will look dirty because it's way too dark for me. Like I said, this would probably have to be like an eyeshadow palette instead of contouring and blush. So I am going to keep it. I'm not going to throw it out because it is very, very pigmented. I'm surprised at that. Now with the Complete Coverage Concealer Palette, if you are on a budget and you need a few different ones, I would definitely recommend this. But um, I think for maybe $2 more, you can find something from CoverGirl or Maybelline um, that will suit your color way better and the texture and coverage is way better. But like I said, um, this did do the job. It did conceal my under eyes, but I felt better consistency and better quality in other drugstore brands. So, um, yeah, so I'm kind of like yes and no about this palette. And that's pretty much it guys. So hopefully you enjoyed um, this haul and I've been trying to do more like testing and swatching during the haul because you get a better idea. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul. I know you've talked a lot so sorry about that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!